So earlier I was getting ready to turn a very large bowl and I took my regular expanding jaws off and went to take the adapter off so I could get my faceplate on and um, when I was taking this off it just locked up I put a wrench on it and held the lock in and then I heard something snap and fall and now even with the lock in I have about that much play in it so I'm thinking that the mechanism that goes up against this pin has snapped in half or something and that's probably what I heard fall so instead of me turning a bolt today I'm going to do a how to on how to disassemble this uh, jet lathe head so before we get started here um, it's very important we make sure our lathe is unplugged we don't want any power going to it there's electrical components in here we don't want to get electrocuted and also we don't want it to somehow turn on while we're touching any of these moving parts on the inside. So we're unplugged here and we'll go ahead and start gaining access to the internal components and uh, we'll remove the spindle. So we'll go ahead and open the door. Our belt is going to eventually come off so we'll go ahead and just pop that off now. And then we're going to take this face plate with the RPM gauge off which is going to give us a little more room to work in there. And hopefully it'll give me another little window where I can put the camera and <laughs> you can kind of see what's going on. Um, it's a pretty tight space, so <laughs> I'm going to try my best, but we'll see how it goes. So we're going to start with this end for our disassembly. We're going to take our hand wheel off and this has two set screws. So we'll go ahead and back those out almost all the way. This should just slide off. You may have to Gently pry on it a little bit. Does not want to come off today. Alright, there we go. So next we're going to remove what they consider a lock nut. Um, this has a Allen head on it. It's a 3 16 and basically what this piece does is clamps down your spindle so it can't fly out the end and that keeps tension on your bearings too. So this will just unscrew and that slides off. You can see there's a threaded portion right here where that screws into. So now looking at the inside, I see exactly what broke here and here's the other piece to it down here. So if you look in here, this is your brake that your pin goes up against, so your pin right there goes against that. Now it looks like half of that, which is that piece right there, 
has broken off. So that's going to need to be replaced, obviously. And, well, hopefully we don't have to replace the whole spindle. <laughs> so we'll keep going with our disassembly here. So we're going to go ahead and take off the pulley. You can see there's a set screw right here where our keyway is. And then there's another one 90 degrees aft of it. So we'll go ahead and take these and loosen them. Now there will be some play in our pulley. So we'll start to slide the entire spindle out. Pulley will slide off and we can get our keyway or our key out. So that's what keeps your pulley from spinning right there. Now you'll see there's these four bolts here. We're gonna have to go ahead and remove those. Um, I think all these really do is just prevent it, prevent the spindle from pretty much exiting the lathe. Now, get this out of the way. Everything is freed up, and we should be able to just pull, get our pulley off, and then our spindle will come right out. So, here is your spindle assembly, in case you haven't seen it. Um, now at this point, if you were taking this off to replace the bearings, obviously this bearing just came out. Uh, you could just get a punch or just push. This bearing comes out. There's also a little keeper. You could uh, replace your bearings at this time, or if that's why you took this off, then go ahead and replace them and put it back together. So I'm probably going to take this to my friend's machine shop and see if he can't get, uh, get that adapter off. So hopefully that works out and I won't have to get a new spindle. But uh, once that's all said and done, I'll make another video on how to put it back together.